dog. They are so they are so damn awkward. They are so damn awful. The Giants are so damn awful. The Giants are so damn awful. If I'm Brian Dave, I'm like this. This might this might ruin my reputation. This might ruin my reputation staying here. It's bad enough I'm at the swamp in East Rutherford, New Jersey. But now people ain't even blaming blaming the swamp for the stench. They blaming me. I I might need to get the hell up out of there. And let me tell you something right now. In all seriousness, obviously that's not going to happen. Of course, I'm joking around. But this, I say this seriously. It wouldn't surprise me at all. They're making this move right now. They're desperate. They got to figure out something. But in the end, we can't rule out the fact that Brian Dable ain't going to be going from the Giants after the season's over. And that slot ain't going to be open for him to return to. We can't rule that out. We Molly. can't really not, not as awful yes. as the Giants look. Mm. It's the truth. Yes. <laughs> am I lying, Jeff? I'm just Jeff. Am I off? Am I about am to catch the stray, Jeff? Shannon? This is, this What's no. happening? Stephen A., you remember earlier this year, I said the Giants looking bad. There's a situation that Brian Dayball might be without a job, and Molly <laughs> says not right. Are you sure about that, Molly? You want to rethink hey, right that? Right now. Right now. Now you can't say but that. You know who should come on home? Bill Belichick, if he wants to. You know, oh, my I'm word. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> we get, we, we're firing people, hiring people. I, let me say this about the Day Bowl situation in all seriousness. It, it, is, it, is, it, it is, I would say, I would be cautious, right? Like, you remember the Joe Judge situation. And I'm yes. not comparing yeah. the two as sure. coaches. Sure. But, like, Nobody thought they were going to go anywhere, and then all of a sudden it teetered and went, you know, Joe Judge started saying things. The thing that's happening on the sidelines of the Giants game with Barkley, the arguments, the Tyrod Taylor situation, when, like, Dave, the frustration that's going on there, he and Wink Martin, they're like the arguments that are happening on the sidelines. That, that's that got to stop. Like, yeah. the, you have to – the, the season is gone, that's right? Great. It's ba- But, man, hone it in, bro. Like, professionalism, like, for, for Mara and the, and the Giants, that matters. Like, the perception of what that – that you look – in control. Yeah, Dable is a little yes. out of control. Yeah, he. I mean, but, and, control. and you understand it, right? When you, when you go from a playoff team to being what they are right now, it's an embarrassment, right? Mm-hmm. Like, and it's frustrating for him because he cares. I'm not, but 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 at some point, you got to be the state. You yeah, you got you got to hone it in. Hey, man, we're gonna grin and bear this one, and we'll, well be better I, next I year. I think usually that's an indication when you're not on the same page as upper management. So that when I see him doing that. It harkens me back to Daniel Jones getting that four-year, $160 million deal that Dable may not have been supportive right. of, but the organization wanted, wanted to, to do. Direction. And it's like, I got to deal with all of this right. that's going on, and then not only he's not available, he's hurt, and look at what I got to work with. Yes. But let me throw this out there. Just as a last point, Shannon, the Bills right now, they rank seventh total offense, yeah. eighth. Scoring offense. Now, they did rank second in both categories last year, but seventh and eighth respectfully now. That's not God-awful. So no. why would he be fired? You want me to tell you why he'd be fired? Because when your star wide receiver, that stud, is pointing out how he's not even being targeted, you'd be better off with him having two completions with, being, with ten targets than for him only being targeted five times and catching three passes in a game especially a game of this importance. Something is awry and very fishy in Baltimore, and it wasn't just bad football decisions being made. I think people, there's personality conflicts that influenced some football decisions, and I think that's what's going on here.